If the international phonetic alphabet has symbols and sounds you haven't mastered yet, it's time for IPA and IPAs with Molly. Hi everybody, welcome to IPA and IPAs, the unfussy show about the international phonetic alphabet and beer. I'm Molly from Molly Does Dialects and tonight we are going to learn about dentalization. What is it? How does it happen? Where do you hear it? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you. But first, what am I drinking? Tonight, I have the Dark Side of the Hop, which is a black IPA from Ranger Creek Brewing in San Antonio, Texas. Now, I was reading about black IPA because I had never heard of it, to be really honest, and it is steeped in controversy, which was fascinating to read about. So apparently a black IPA is supposed to be a beer that is dark in color, but has the, I wrote it down, the taste, body, and aroma of an international pale ale or an IPA. So like, look-wise, absolutely. This looks like a dark beer. <laughs> Look at the head on that, that's beautiful. Okay, it smells really sweet. I don't think it smells like an IPA, but I could be wrong. All right, it smells like um, malty, maybe like chocolate, I don't know. Cheers, everybody. I didn't mean to make that face. Um, initially, it tastes straight up like a porter or a stout. It's like creamy and malty and kind of chocolatey. And then it just has a really bitter aftertaste. I don't think black IPAs are for me. <laughs> um, I feel like it takes the thing I love dark beer, and then um, combines it with the thing I don't love, <laughs> IPA. Um, so for me, this is a no, but it could be a yes for you. If I'm describing this and you're like, that sounds fascinating, I'd like to try it, um, then you should try it. Um, again, Ranger Creek Brewing in San Antonio, Texas. That's interesting. So, dentalization. Have you ever heard somebody talk and they use a word that starts with a TH sound in English, except when they say it, it doesn't really sound like a TH. It sort of sounds more like a D or a T, depending on which TH you used, right? So if they were using the voiced TH, it would sound a little bit more like a D. And if they were using the voiceless TH, it would sound a little bit more like a T, right? So what's happening in this situation is you're probably hearing dentalization. And so it's kind of a sound that's not fully a D, but it's not fully a TH, it's somewhere in the middle. So um, like if I was saying, don't do that, don't do that, but I dentalized that, I would say, don't do that, that. And so I'm not saying a D, but I'm not saying the TH. So what am I saying? I'm saying a D, a D that's been dentalized. And so there's a diacritic that goes underneath the D. It looks like it's sitting on a little box. And that diacritic means dentalized. So how do you make this sound? So when you make a sound, d, d, you're using the tip of your tongue, the very tip, and it's hitting your alveolar ridge, which is the back of your front tooth, right where it meets your gums. There's that kind of like bony ridge. Uh, it's called your alveolar ridge. 
and the D sound is made with the tip of your tongue on your alveolar ridge. D, 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 d. And if you're making a TH, it's your tongue and the bottom of your front teeth, I guess it's really between your teeth, th, 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 th. So if you're dentalizing it, what happens is instead of just the tip of your tongue, the blade of your tongue gets involved. So tip, and then right kind of behind the tip, a little bit more of your tongue is called the blade of your tongue. And instead of hitting your alveolar ridge or underneath your teeth, the blade of your tongue touches the back of your front tooth and you get kind of a dull D sound. D, 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 a dull, a dull, a dull D, right? D, d. So let's try it together. We'll start here, then we'll go to the dentalized D, and then we'll go to the TH so you can move your tongue around. D, d, d. You did it! Nice job! And with the voiceless TH sound, it can come out kind of sounding like a dentalized T. So instead of it becomes so now that we know what dentalization is where do you hear it i think a really strong example is like a very stereotypical new york city brooklyn accent like hey don't do that don't do that that i'm not saying don't do that. My tongue is hitting the back of my front tooth instead of, you know, underneath. Another place that you hear dentalization really commonly is in um, English as a second language accents. So people who are coming to English from a different language first. And that's because TH, the sound th and th, isn't in most other languages. And so a lot of times when people are learning English, TH is a sound that can be really tricky. So um, people approximate it and it ends up kind of between D and T and TH, right? Um, so that's another place that you commonly hear dentalization. So if we were going to transcribe the phrase in there, but we were going to put dentalization on this TH, so it might sound like in there, in there. Let's do it together. Start with our brackets. Always. I. We have our small cap I. In. There. So we're going to start with a D. We're going to give it a little box to sit on. Dentalization. There. Air. What is it? Vowels plus R. Air. In there. This phrase in particular might get dentalization because the sound that you're going from, the N, N is an alveolar consonant, so your tongue has to go, if this is my tooth, it has to go in there, in there, in there. And so a lot of times your tongue doesn't make it all the way and it goes in there, in there, instead of in there. So you might use some dentalization in your own speech. Who knows? Thank you for joining me this evening on IPA and IPAs to learn about dentalization. I hope you learned something. I hope you had some fun. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions for me um, about dentalization or phonetics or something else you'd like to learn. I would love to hear about it. Tell me what you're drinking. Have a great week, everybody. Cheers. You can never fail with a fresh pale ale and molly. Hitting my alveolar ridge, which is the place between the top of your, the back, the, the top, oh my gosh, the top of